Oh my gosh, I am so excited to introduce this brand new series to you, focusing on The Sims 4. The Sims is my absolute favorite game franchise ever. I have been playing it since 2001 when the very first version came out and I was only 12 years old. I've been playing for almost 20 years. I'm old. I won't think about that right now. Right now, what's most important is to introduce you to this new game and this new pack that we're going to be focusing on, which is The Sims 4 Discover University. I thought this was a wonderful pack to get started with because I'm sure so many English learners are hoping to learn some either academic English or maybe even go to an English speaking school or university at some point. So if that's you, this is going to be a wonderful series. But even if you're not interested in that, the series is going to be so full of fun story and drama that it won't really matter if you're not interested in academic vocabulary. So I'm so excited to get started. And I know I'm speaking really fast. I'm trying to calm down. This series of videos is meant for intermediate to upper intermediate English speakers. So if you do understand maybe 80% of what I'm saying, then you're doing very well and I think you're going to be fine with this series. It'll be a lot of drama, a lot of craziness, which also makes the learning process so much fun. I'm so excited to get started, so let's jump right in. We are in the brand new neighborhood of Brightchester, which is the university neighborhood. So I did make a video with the character who we're going to play as she was applying to the university and I had this whole great backstory for her but the audio on that was so terrible that I decided not to use it. I know it's kind of sad because you don't get to see the backstory, but I'm going to try to make up for it as we play now. It's just the audio was so terrible that it wasn't really good to show you. And I couldn't go back into an old save to restart the whole game again. It wouldn't let me, which is so annoying. But we're here and we're going to just get started. The center area is the neutral zone between two different universities who are kind of battling each other. We have on this side, Foxbury Institute. This is the modern campus and its focus is a little bit more on technology. The older university is Brightchester. Founded by the famous Felix Sided, Sided, who was well known for his enthusiasm for learning and humorously large books. This is more of the liberal arts side of education. That's what they focus on. And of course, in the middle is that neutral zone, Gibbs Hill. The girl who I am going to be playing with. Her name is Clara Barsati. She is from Newcrest, but she's not living there anymore. She has already moved to her new dorm, which is short for a dormitory. So a little bit about Clara. She spent her entire high school life studying and writing because her dream is to be a best-selling author. So she didn't really have a very big social life. She was seeing a boy who she at first really had a huge crush on and he wasn't very interested in her. But as time went on, he became more interested in her and she became less interested. So right before she moved, she broke up with him. She told him that they were going their separate ways. 
she was going to a new university in a new area and they wouldn't be seeing each other very much so they should move on. So that's where we're starting. She has a couple other friends from high school but generally she is looking to make new friends here and she's hoping she'll have time to focus on a social life now that she has attained her goal of going to Brightchester. She is going to be pursuing a distinguished degree in English and literature. I believe that's what it is. I'll check inside. Okay, everyone, this is Clara. She is the girl we're going to be following for the whole series. And she's already sleepy. Okay, then. So she's just going to go straight to sleep on the couch. They're talking yes. about their similar hairstyles <laughs> and how strange it is that they both have the exact same hair. Kind of silly, don't you think? Really odd. Maybe I should change my hair, huh? Do you think that's a good idea? Oh, we got this guy here with <laughs> some sort of paw print in his hair. Let's meet him. Let's do a funny introduction. And his name is... Naoki Kobayashi. That looks like such a cool bright chester shirt. I want one too. Let's check out the rest of the dorm. Okay, so this looks like it's the common area. We have a TV. We have the sofa, some chairs and table. A stereo here. We have a shared bathroom. So we have the bathroom stalls. Oof, this is quite open and exposed. The shower stalls. I guess anyone can just see you taking a shower. That's weird. And this is Clara's room. She managed to get her own bedroom. So she has her desk here, a nice Ikea chair. We have her pretty purple bed and some things hanging on the walls. Two desks. Oh no, she doesn't have her own room. Haley Ham. That is her roommate. Who is Haley Ham? Is that this girl? The same haircut? No, that's Elena. Who's Haley? I guess we'll meet her soon. And the ever-responsible Clara is already doing homework for her first class. Clara is exhausted, so she is walking to her bed. To be fair, all throughout high school, she never slept. She was always studying or writing or trying to do whatever she could to get good grades to go to this university and now she's just so tired let's see her classes okay so she doesn't have class for three days and then she has like three classes in one day oh my gosh that's crazy well this at least gives her time to prepare for these classes she has to do some homework and then take some final exams. So she is taking the right expectations. We have a pun. Pride and prepositions. Telling tales. Oh no, what's happening here? Somebody's crying. Haven Thorpe. Let's get up and see what's happening. Friendly introduction. She said too, Clara, what's wrong? She has the gloomy trait, so sometimes she just randomly gets sad. Everything okay? Let's share some melancholy thoughts. Melancholy means sad, depressed. Just everything's awful right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> Me too. It's just so Yana. crazy and we're leaving our families. <laughs> what are we going to do? I miss my parents. Who's this dude and why is he just interrupting us right now? 
And this girl too. Too many people all at once. They're too depressed right now to be talking to these people. I'm so hungry. Where's some food? This place, order food. Patouche salad, tabula salad, falafel wrap, beef kebab, chicken kebab. Let's give her chicken kebab. Just give me all the food. I need all of it. Oh, she's so sad. She misses her family. But now the food looks like it's making her feel better. Food is wonderful for that. Oh, look! It's our mascot! Bray with stink spray. No! Take a selfie with the mascot. Oh my gosh, can I take a selfie? Yay! There's a ghost! Who is this? Wait, hold on. What's your name? Feel excited. Oh! He founded the school, didn't he? Let's meet him. Dag dag. Hi. I've never met a ghost before. <laughs> no, no. He says he's very happy about being a ghost because he got to avoid his wife. <laughs> Do you like beds? She learned that Felix is cheerful. Well, that's nice. A cheerful ghost. There's another ghost here. What's with all the ghosts? Princeton Shell. Sh shell? Shell. We're just gonna meet all the ghosts. I think that's our goal today. Let's scare the ghosts. They're all so excited to be starting university soon, but Clara is exhausted and I think she needs to go home and sleep and get ready for the crazy week ahead. Okay, so we will end this playthrough as she goes to sleep for the first night at her dorm all by herself. She's feeling a little bit scared but I think it's going to work out and she's going to have an amazing first term at Brightchester University. Okay, so not too much happened in this first playthrough because she just started at her dorm and she doesn't really know anybody and it's that awkward first day where everyone's moving in and feeling a little bit scared. Have you had that experience moving in to a dorm or moving out of your old house and into a new place and you just don't really know how to feel? Tell me in the comments what that was like and what you did to feel more comfortable. Also let me know in the comments if there is anything specific you would like me to cover while she is in university, especially when it comes to English. So let me know in the comments what else you would like to learn, what you thought of this first playthrough, and what you hope to see next. And I will see you soon. Bye!